हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आई मेड मी थिंक वीडियो सीरीज ट्यूटोरियल फॉर रिस्ट ए टेस्टिंग एंड ऑटोमेशन यूजिंग जावा प्रोग्रामिंग एंड ओपन सोर्स टूल्स सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ओपन सोर्स टूल एज जेमीटर वी इंस्टॉल द जेमीटर वी ऑल्सो सॉ सैम्पल गेट एन होस्ट रिक्वेस्ट इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी विल टेक लुक एट डिफरेंट सिक्वेंसेज ऑफ ऑपरेशन द सिक्वेंस इज चेंज बेसिकली दिस इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स and we will see the jmeter script which i have developed for testing the uh, web uh, rest apis so tomcat is running uh, uh, locally on my local host so this is a jmeter let me open the script now there are six scenarios as discussed in the in the in the ppt we have six scenarios here 4 5 6 let's take a quick look at different requests so we are we are uh, going to hit a uh, sign up get request sign up post request activate sign in and delete this is the same thing here scenario sequence 1 is get sign up parameter sign up activate sign in sign out we saw how to raise get request post request these are the form parameters this is again uh, activation so uh, like for activation we need an activation key this is a variable here that activation key will come from the post request output so uh, i am doing a regular expression extraction extractor and i am taking the activation key uh, extracting the activation key from post request and i am using it in the get request so i'll be using it in the get request so after activating the account i am doing a sign in so for sign in again uh, uh, for sign in i'll be using username and password and sign in request will generate something called session key so this session key everything is as per the specification if you open the specification document everything is mentioned here so uh, session key is required for subsequent operation for example sign out sign out is a delete request if you see for sign out i have to provide email id and session id so session key i will be getting it from sign in once again sign up sign up post in the post request uh, response i'll get something called activation key which i'll use here in the activate get request so account will be activated then for sign in i just need a username and password so sign in post request response will generate something called session key session key will be used in the sign out for as a session key to sign out or it's a delete request <coughs> scenario number 2 scenario 2 is get sign up parameter again sign up using uh, different parameters then activate account sign in so what i'm doing here is uh, get account profile details and modify profile so what i'm doing here is i'm doing i'm creating an account signing in i'm creating an account activating it signing it sign sign in then account profile detail and modify profile so till this activation is same i am doing a sign in then uh, get account profile details so remember here for uh, uh, many request we need something called last session key that we will get it from sign in once you sign in it will generate a session key which will be valid for some time and that we have to use for any subsequent request this is a good practice for any user management application development this is what happens at the api level modify account profile detail so whatever we got in the response in the account profile detail that will use it here now for some reason i uh, for some reason i i cannot make it as a form parameter but i have used it as as a body date body parameter so we can directly use this is <coughs> this is simple uh, url format and then sign out delete so uh, modify account profile detail is a put request it is a put request and it should be of this format because we are submitting a form we are getting we are signing in we are asking to change some profile parameters so that is a form basically so i have to do it like application slash x hyphen triple w hyphen form hyphen url encoded and then i am doing a sign out 
now now quickly scenario number 3 so i i am uh, basically creating an account activating it signing it i am doing a forget password and reset password uh, you can see the different options uh, as per the specifications what i have mentioned here and this is the logical sequence sign out and so forget password for forget password i uh, need just one parameter called email id and reset password i need a email id so uh, uh, the forget password request will uh, will <coughs> you give me something called secret question if you see here forget password forget password get secret question so in the response i'll have something called two secret questions okay now reset password so in the reset password what i need to do is i will have to specify the answer of a secret question so your email id answer to secret question 1 answer to secret question 2 and in the response reset password the reset password and in the response you will get something called please use following new password so you will it will some temporary password will be generated by the application and extract it from the payload and use it further so i'll be getting a temporary password that i can use uh, for further operation so uh, i'm doing a sign out here so for sign out password is not required and i am again doing a sign in using the new password so new password i will get it from here if you see here new password new password will be in the payload which we saw in the uh, in the response once you provide proper answers to the uh, secret question you will get new password new password okay and so once you get the new password you sign out and again sign in with the new password so that is how is the sequence scenario 4 uh, sign up get parameters again actual create an account and sign in so remember that uh, for any uh, typical account uh, managements of uh, uh, apis or application uh, first you need to create an account then you need to activate that account so here i am not doing the activation step so i am just doing a sign up and then i am doing a sign in so obviously this should fail because uh, you have not activated account so we will see the response what happens in the response here Okay, sign out also will not happen because for sign out I need something called session key. Session key will be generated from sign in. So as sign in itself will fail, so this should also fail. So this is a negative test case. Okay. So activate an account, sign in using post, get account profile details. Here what I am doing is I am sending content type as XML. So as the application supports. only json format so if you say content type uh, is xml it will fail it will just give you some uh, error code this this is also explained in detail in the specification get account profile details if you uh, what will happen if you send different uh, application type and then if you do a sign out sign out is sign out should be successful because we are getting session key from here sign in last so i am directly doing a sign up that is fine and then i am doing a sign out so once you create an account you need to activate that account then only you can do sign in or sign out so uh, this will fail the rest of the operations will also fail now let us run this uh, locally as uh, lo uh, once my tomcat is running locally okay so first request is passed totally uh, everything is okay second request is also all green so uh, you are i was able to successfully modify the uh, account profiles third request okay forget password and reset password so i was able to successfully reset the password and again sign in with the new password so as i said this test will fail because what we are doing is we are do we are creating an account we are doing a get request 
sign up get and then sign up post and then we we successfully created an account if you see here you, it is green so we have successfully created an account but after creating an account we need to activate it so i have not done activation here and i am simply doing a sign in so even if i am doing sign in with proper username and password but the account is not yet activated so it will fail and subsequent request will also fail okay so in this sequence as i said i am uh, doing uh, get account profile details with application hyphen xml as a content type so this will also fail error message this application can take input only json response please set the content type header is to be application json only sign out is successful because we uh, we have used uh, sign out is successful because our header type was correct as well as our parameters were also correct because for sign out we don't need a password okay now this also failed but uh, why it is failed because what we have done is we have done a sign up post so we have created an account we haven't activated it so obviously sign out will fail because sign out will need a session key session key we will get it from sign in request so as of now there is no sign in request and th there is no variable called this so it will obviously fail forget password will also fail because account is not yet activated now if you see forget password response data user must activate the account to perform any such activity first <coughs> so if you want to do any further operation once you create an account first thing is you need to activate that account so activation is not done so sign out has failed forget password has failed get account profile details will also fail because this application get so if you see the this request what i have done is i have set the uh, content type as again xml so this is this all negative test i am doing just to make sure that uh, whether the sequence is correct whether the uh, technical point of view uh, se the sequence is proper so this is how th we can do uh, uh, rest api testing using jmeter we also saw how can we do a uh, how can we run multiple tests simultaneously we can how to capture the uh, payload and uh, how to extract the payload using regular expression extractor and many more if you have any questions any doubt please put it in comments i will try to answer most of them please like and comment this video series and share among your friends thanks for watching